this is a bevel jig for cutting a really small angle or acute angle cuts into the workpiece. This is actually the back side here. Uh, this is the, the jig here. Uh, I've just got some gussets on the back, a base plate. I've got my, my um, table saw sled here and I've got it clamped down with a couple of uh, these clamp bars. And holding it pretty sturdy, you know. Um, and this is the again the back side. I've got these hex nuts uh, uh, recessed into the the vertical wall here of the the bevel jig, and they're at four inch spaces spacing. They, actually, it's four inch here, and I think I made it three inch here. So this this height right here, or well, from the from the top of the sled is about six inches so I, I decided to make this a little a little shorter at three inches rather than four by four spacing and then I flip it around to the other side show that I've got just a just a test piece right here and we've got another one of those clamp bars that is bolted into a hex nut you know that we saw on the back side here just a spacer on the other side of the clamp bar so that when you tighten down on the nut knob it you know it locks this into place here also got a vertical backstop right here and the thing with that is that I, I didn't really want to add screws down here at the bottom so that uh, if I accidentally run this through the table saw uh, and it it you know cuts this backstop here. It doesn't hit the uh, a screw. So this lower screw is above the maximum height of the table saw blade. So there's really no chance of hitting that screw. And then I just added several more screws to try and keep this as straight as I could. And <clears throat> yeah, so that's the idea. It it mounts on this side of the ta of my table saw here. This is a DeWalt table saw, and just the idea here is that uh, I, br I can bring the blade up here and then set a bevel angle. Right now I've got the, the bevel angle at 12 degrees. That's the cut that I ultimately wanted to make with this jig, which I'll, I'll show you the cut next. I'm not going to cut this. This is just, just to show what, what this looks like. But yeah, you could you could change this angle to whatever you want, you know. Like uh, there's 25 degrees, you know. Change it to whatever bevel angle you want, and then you you know you lock it down, and then you run the piece through, you know. And this is held in place pretty good, you know. You can you could add more clamps, you know. I, I just got one here, but that's usually enough but you could you could add a couple of clamps um, yeah that's the idea I'll, I'll show you guys a, a cut using this bevel jig next I've got the bevel jig set up to cut a piece of wood and this this is the piece of wood right here the bevel jig is clamped down to the table saw sled with a couple of these hold down clamps right in the back there and I've got another hold down clamp on this side right here just tightened it down I've got just a, a piece of a spacer block right here it, it's all secure in there it's all screwed down um, and then I've got this right here to just try and hold this piece a little flatter it's got a little bit of a cup to it and so I'm trying to see if I can um, flatten that out onto the the bevel jig right here got the table saw set to a 12 inch bevel uh, 12 degree cut, cut bevel cut and the way I kind of set up this piece right here since I don't want to really have this back right up against here because the bevel cut will cut right in down into this area of this uh, this backstop right here so what I do is first I'll set the height of it just using a piece of three quarter inch plywood which is the same height as the table saw sled and then I'll take another just piece of uh, wood that I know is square and space that off from the uh, backstop 
right there. You know, so now, now I know this is uh, straight up and down, and I've got the height correct off of the uh, the table saw sled. Although you can adjust this this height, um, it doesn't have to be this way, but I, it's just useful for me to to set it that way. And the idea here is that I'm going to cut this 12 degree bevel cut at the center or the midpoint of the thickness of this piece of um, cherry hardwood right here. Pull that guy out. So I'll, I'll take. I'll make the cut. I have to move the table saw a little bit to actually do this. I'm kind of doing this one-handed also. So there we go. I think that'll that'll work right there. Get my ear protection on if I can, one-handed. Take it out and see what it, what, how that, uh, how that turned out here. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, just undo the clamp. Right there. This kind of, of course, falls a little apart there. But okay, there's the piece right there. Yep, that looks good. That's what I wanted to do right there. Yeah, I didn't quite cut it perfectly at the midpoint, but that's kind of my setup. Uh, I don't think that's anything to do with the jig. There's a little bit of uh, wood. Okay, so that's just uh, it's just a sliver of wood. Really, got these cuts in in the uh, in the workpiece right here for some splines, and I'm going to cut this piece next with another 12, 12 degree angle and so that'll be the next step. I've got the other work piece rested in here. I use the same method as I did before you know with just a little a spacer on the bottom and then using just any other, I actually use this piece here but just a, another piece of wood to to get, reference it off of this uh, backstop here so it's vertical and, and so I think it's all set up and ready to go and cut same thing as here, just another uh, 12 degree angle um, at the bottom here. So I'll run it through, see what that looks like. That's, that's the other cut right there. And I'm trying to look at the workpiece and focus the camera at the same time, so I apologize if I'm all over the place with this video here. Uh, I, that looks better than the last time, or the, the previous one. And I would say that's pretty close to being center, maybe not exactly, but the idea is that these two pieces are not going to glue together like this. If I can do it here. Like that. Yes, yeah, the lighting is terrible here too. There we go. That's a little better, maybe. Like that. So that's the idea there. And I'll just have some some uh, thin strips of wood here, splines, that will kind of support that that angle right there. Two 12 degree 
cuts, bevel cuts using the table saw.